Carrier Infinity System Do you know the model of your carrier HVAC unit? How old is it? Code 83 Low Pressure Lockout How long has this been going on with your carrier unit? What have you tried so far? Technician cleaned outside and inside coils, replaced filter, and put more Freon in it. Problem recurred within 10 days. Anything else we should know to help you best? No. 24ANB148A My name is I am happy to assist you today. Please read my entire reply before responding. Please provide as much information as possible about the situation to help me provide as accurate an answer as possible. Along the way you will receive an offer for a live phone call for an additional fee. We have some excellent experts who work by phone and if available one may be able to work with you by phone. I personally am not set up for accepting phone calls. The offer is optional and if you choose to work with another expert by phone, that is fine. I will still continue to help here and chat as long as needed with no time limit. Once you accept the offer you will be billed for the additional service of a live phone call and I have no control over billing or making other experts call you. So if you do not want to be billed the additional fee, do not accept or ask for a phone call. I am reading over your question to make sure I understand completely what your issue is and what you have done so far. I will reply again shortly. Please stand by. The unit has shut down by the low pressure switch. Causes can be low on refrigerant, indoor fan not running, dirty evaporator coil or a sticking metering device. If indoor fan is on and filter is and has been kept clean we are going to need refrigerant gauges to diagnose. Let me know and we can go from here. Indoor fan is working, filter is clean, and the expansion valve and evaporator coil were replaced last year. The local HVAC technicians will be here tomorrow. What is it I should tell them when they put their gauges on? They should know, but at both low and high side gauges read low, the system is low on refrigerant. If low they need to find and repair leak before charging. If high side is normal but low side is low, have them check coil and make sure it is clean. If low side is low and high side high there is a restriction. Probably stuck expansion valve not letting refrigerant through coil. Thanks. We will pick up this conversation tomorrow if you're available. I should be in and out tomorrow. Talk then. Pressures were 92 suction and 185 head. They're saying low ambient cooling is the issue, and we need winter start control. See attached. Do the pressures pick up after it runs for 3 minutes or are they staying below the cutout? What are temps outdoors? Pressures pick up after a short period, and outdoor temps have been in the upper 40s today. Just curious why you need AC in those temps but yes if it does pick up, the time delayed switch will solve the issue. We like it very cool in the house, especially at night. Understood. That switch will solve. We use them a lot in commercial installations where AC has to be on due to heat load of refrigeration equipment inside and people. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.